lady. Hi, it's us again. Um, us meaning sisters and stitches, and I'm Cindy. I know it's this younger Cindy. sister. I'm Debbie. Debbie. And um, right now we're gonna do Cindy's trunk club uh, video with you. This is um, a box that you get through Nordstrom's, mm -hmm. and if you have their credit card, it's free. If you don't, twenty-five dollars for the styling, styling fee, but you mm -hmm. do get that money back if you purchase something. So, so quite a while ago, Trunk Club changed. We, I used to have one stylist that I work with all the time, and she talked to me throughout the month, and and we had a relationship going. Now they went to whoever is going to take care of you. And honestly, I quit Trunk Club for a few months because they were sending me like $495 pair of jeans, $195 t-shirt, you know, things like that. And I kept saying I want a budget friendly. So I sent them a long email about why I was canceling. And then uh, I got an invitation to come back and I thought, all right, I'll give it one more shot. And I did ask for more budget friendly items. I even sent them a couple pictures of things I wanted and they did send me a couple of the items. So let me show you, let's begin since there's a lot of products. Now these, I'm definitely keeping. Look at these. They look like cowboy boots, right? Aren't they the cutest? Those are Vince Camuto. Yes. Tostada snake print leather. And they're on sale for $74.99. They're I half think. price. Yeah, normally they're like $150. And I absolutely love them. And I have a wide foot and these are not wide. So I unzippered the back of it and Debbie put them on no problems. Her foot slipped right in there. And she's like, maybe try them with socks. Put socks on my foot, went in easier, but she had to zip up the back. Once they were zipped up, they were great. <laughs> so I don't yeah, know. Yeah, but you know, with leather shoes, as you wear them, they get, they stretch out a little bit. So I said over time, she's going to be able to zip those no problem. So she's going to go ahead and get those. Absolutely. Because I just love like the reddish hue to them. They're awesome. I will throw an outfit together in And no it's nice time. that it's snakeskin print. Because anybody that has snakeskin boots, which... I had a pair of snakeskin boots. The little snakeskin start to curl up after t over time. So I think I like the print better because they're not going to do that. Okay, and then I got, it looks like I got like four pieces of jewelry. Now with Trunk Club though, you do get to pick out your outfits and add, you know, like three or four items to your box. But this is a Kate Spade necklace. And I'm trying to show you the, it's a love me knot. Can you see that? You probably need it on a darker surface here. Mm, okay. Yeah, see. And it's pretty. It's um it's got several different lengths that you can do. You know, so if you want it shorter or more of a and I do like Kate Spade, obviously. But this is on sale, I think, for half price as well, like for twenty nine dollars. It normally retails for sixty eight. 68 and it's on sale for oh no 58 that was canadian 58 dollars. okay 58. i'm trying to see what this is made of okay so it's cute i don't i mean for 29 dollars, i don't really need this i have several gold choker necklaces but it is really pretty so i don't know that i would be keeping it and then i got another necklace i don't know what this one's by this is normally This is Chain and Padlock Pendant Multi-Strand Necklace by Panacea. Pan Panacea? I'm not sure. It retails know. for $38. And it's like two necklaces. This is actually kind of cute. Well, it's called Chain and Padlock Pendant. So the chain and the padlock. Oh, well, yeah, I get it. But it is really cute. So I don't know if it's worth $38, but it is really cute. So I'll have to think about that. I don't have anything with a padlock on it, and I do like it. It's kind of cute. Okay, so that's that. And then, and then I got a pair of Cubic Zirconia Sterling Silver Studs. And those retail for... They're not sterling silver. They're rose gold. It says sterling silver. Then you're not looking at the right I thing. I am. Cuba Zirconia earrings, Nordstrom's, rose gold. Okay, well, I didn't get rose gold. So I don't know if you can see the rose They're gold. They're cute. 
but they're cute. They're small. Those would be nice for a, a second hole, you know, which I have. So I asked for real diamonds for Christmas. So hopefully I'll get those. So I probably won't keep these because I think I'm getting real, the real deal. This is also something um, by Kate Spade. It's cute, but look at this. Like, seriously. Oh, well, there is a clap. <laughs> <laughs> but my wrist is big. Look, see, I can't even close it. Yeah, I don't know if I will be able to either. A lot of her stuff is smaller on the smaller side. Here you go. There's the bracelet. You know, it's just, it's just okay. I obviously, I'm not going to get it because um, it's too small for me. So I think in the, the jewelry, if I, if I keep anything, it would be this padlock. So moving on to the fun stuff, of course, jewelry is fun. But moving on to the fun stuff, I asked for this hat and you're looking at it right now. I'm not normally a hat person, but I see this in so many outfits and so many girls wearing it on Pinterest. Um, I don't know. What do you guys think? What do you think? I don't think it's supposed to be worn like a sun hat. I think it's supposed to be worn more like down over your eyes. Oh, it's kind of cowboyish. So how but much look is at this on my big ass head? Actually, it doesn't look bad on you. Ombre. It doesn't look bad on you at all. How much yeah, is it? I never wear hats. It is $49. $49. It's T Rose Light. So I am considering this and the cowboy boots for sure. We got a theme going here in this basket. Now, the rest of this stuff, hmm, I don't think so. But maybe you can convince me. One, okay. So this is by City Chic. And this is more of a holiday dress, as you can see. It's got all the sparkly stuff and the flowy sleeves. And it retails for $89, and I look terrible on her. Well, when you guys are looking at this, you can see what looks like pockets here, but it's not. It's just like pleating. But because I carry all most of my weight in my middle section, it just looked like like uh <laughs> like like an elephant like an legs. accordion when it's all the way open you know what i mean not all the way shut so and for 89 dollars, this dress would have to fit me pretty darn good and it hung way lower in the front than it yeah. did in the back and it just looked terrible on her everything about it looks see terrible. look at these they look like pockets i thought that they were actually pockets. this part of the dress that came down it was that, really low yeah but it still looked good on her so if you were just looking at it from here up, the dress looks stunning. But then when you saw the back <laughs> of things hanging out the side and the, I mean, the difference, the front was down here and the back was like up here. That's the difference in the dress and it wasn't made that way. So no, not that's good going back. And, and then I have my, uh, what is the name of that movie? Yeah, this looks Nightmare like Jack. I... This is a jacket Jack wore in the night, in my, Nightmare Before Christmas. Right, and this is also a shitty... <laughs> <laughs> Oops, sorry. I'm sorry. City chic jacket. And it is a long, is, do they consider this black or dark gray? I don't know. I'm trying to find it on this. Color. They just say white stripe. Who is it by? City chic. It's $99. It's really, really long on me. And when you're looking at the video, you can see that it won't, it doesn't collapse right, and it just looks too small on me, but it's way too long. The arms are too long. The jacket length is too long for me, and I think the striping is just too wide for my taste. If it was more of a pinstripe, I would say okay, but... I swear, you guys, if you know anything about the Nightmare Before Christmas, that's the jacket Jack wore. Yeah, this is just not my style at all. So, and then I thought maybe I had some hope with this blouse. And this is by Bowden, B-O-D-E-N. 
And it's a cute little. And it retails for $80. Okay. This is like some kind of an animal print and it's navy blue and like a rust and a gray. And I really like the print. Of course, if I would have seen that price, I wouldn't have liked it. But it's just too short on me. You can see that it's pulling across the bust a little bit. And um, for $80 for a shirt that I feel like a fat man in a little suit. No, but I really like the print, but I'm a sucker for animal prints. So this one is gonna go back too. And then I got another shirt by Treasure and Bond. This I is $49. I don't know what it's trying to be. It's like a waffle weave, kind of dolman type, but there's like no collar on this. Look at this, it just like hangs there. It's not even an off the shoulder, it just, there isn't anything I like about this shirt other than the color. It's just too big, doesn't sit right, too short. I don't know what else to say. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just trying to speed this video along because there's so much stuff. And then I got these um, jeans from BP, which I think is a brand for Nordstrom. These weren't bad price point wise. They were only $39. Right. Well, I did like the distressing and I like the distressing at the hem. And I would have considered the jeans, except one, they're huge on me. Like they're the waist... And I know they're supposed to be high waist, but literally, you guys, it came up to my bra line. That's how much these jeans were off. So they're too big and way too high waisted for me. They're not even mom jeans, they're grandma jeans. <laughs> Seriously. It's too bad. I really like the distressing in them, though. And then this was kind of a weird shirt. It's by Addison Parker. Now the front of this it is- This retails for $68. Now the front of this is really cute. It's a very pretty like wine color. And the straps you can unstrap and then it's a really wide arm. And from the front, I loved it. But then as you see me turning on the side with the big split, the back is so long and Debbie was just like, would have been cute if they would have maybe dropped it an inch or two lower in the back. But, I mean, it's like five or six inches longer in the back than yeah. it is in the front. It's and I thought, looks... okay, well, maybe if you wear it with just leggings and that's what it's supposed to. It's just like a long tunic button down. But it's way too long in the back. Yeah, it's, yeah, it's too much. I totally would have kept this shirt if the back was as long as the front. Or even an inch or two longer in the back. It's, it's fine. Yeah, yeah. That's a good look. But not that much. Yeah, so um, I'm going to pass back. on that one just because of the length in the back. Oh, and then I got a pair of Wit and Wisdom. I do love Wit and Wisdom. And these are not, they're priced good. The price point's $37.49. And I do need a pair of gray jeans. I specifically asked for a pair of gray jeans, but this is kind of a lightweight and it's a thinner and you can see all the lumps and bumps through it. So I don't like showing off my cottage cheese. I like to keep that very personal and hidden. <laughs> so even though the price point is really good on these, uh, they're going to go back because I know I won't pull for them because of the cottage Does cheese North effect. Carry Liverpool? I don't know. They have great gray jeans. Have yeah, I'll those. have to ask. And maybe in my stitch fix, I'll ask for those. Hey, I think that's it. And what would you keep if you were me? Well, um, I would only keep the boots. You wouldn't keep the hat? No. What do you guys think? Should I keep the hat? I think if the hat was darker in color, I would keep it. But that is a funky color. Yeah, but it's kind of a neutral color. So funky. It take, hey, it's taking it on a peachy. Looks... It's a peachy color. Really? Yeah. I, I weigh in, ladies. I yeah. Mean, I don't like the hat on you at all, but I'm not a hat Is person, it too big so... for my head? Should I get like a smaller one? I don't know. I'm not a hat Let person. me know what you guys think. I'm definitely keeping the boots. And if I keep any jewelry, it'll be this, but... I don't know. Christmas is coming, so I don't want to 
To be honest, I don't want to get jewelry because I usually get jewelry for Christmas. So I think I'm really going to keep the boots and I might consider this hat if you guys tell me. I'm really trying to wear hats. I know they're tr they're wearing them more. And Okay, weigh in. Let me know what you guys think. But they that did. hat will look great with uh, her mask on. <laughs> you should wear a... Uh, <laughs> what is it? They're wearing those... What do you call those scarves that look like um, bandanas? You see the people wearing those over their mat for their mask? That'd look great with your little hat and your little cowboy boots. All right. Now... Trunk Club did do what I asked them to do. They did send me a few items that I picked and put on the website because I wanted to try this style of hat. I specifically asked for these boots. They did that. And it was more budget friendly. There were a few high priced items, but they did send me some stuff on sale, which they weren't doing before. So overall, the box was okay. I I'm just, I am definitely not keeping a Nordstrom okay shirt because an okay shirt is like $80. So. But weigh in. I really want your opinion on this hat. And in your, it's okay if you guys say, no, it doesn't look good on you. Because I don't want to keep something that doesn't look good on me. So let me know what you guys think. I know this was a long video. I went through them quite quickly. But it's trunk club. All right. Adios. See you in the next video, cowboy. <laughs> <laughs> bye, ladies. All right. Bye-bye.